What's going on YouTube and Madden players? So if you follow me on social media, I'm sure you already know that recently I purchased a new product that's going to allow me to use different controllers uh, on the different next-gen systems. I have both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So this comes in really handy. Uh, I'm the type of guy where uh, I don't want to be going back and forth between two different controllers. You know, they have different sensitivities, different feels, everything like that. So if I play one system for a couple weeks and then I go back to the other one, it really throws me off. I'm a very picky gamer like that. Uh, I can't kind of go back and forth between controllers. So um, that is a big help. Now, the other thing is I really can't stand the Xbox One controller. I think it sucks. Uh, I'm very aggressive with the way that I hold the controller, the way I use it. And playing Madden with the Xbox One controller, uh, basically I play so aggressive with the sticks and everything that my player will stop mid-play just because of the way the controller is set up. That's something that did not happen on the Xbox 360. So Xbox One controller, hate it, hate the feel of it, it's creaky, it's clicky, it sucks, can't stand it. I'm sure you get the point by now. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to use the Xbox 360 controller because to me that's the best controller made in the last 10 years. So my first thought is man okay I'm gonna use the 360 controller on the Xbox One and on the PlayStation 4. Unfortunately just before I went to purchase it I did find out that you can't use the Xbox 360 controller on the PlayStation 4 so I was a little bit disappointed so you're gonna to want to keep that in mind I'm making this video so that you guys are aware of what you can and can't do in every aspect that I am aware of so um, I decided you know what to get the 360 controller and play it on the X1 like that kinda of solves my problem because I don't have to use the Xbox One controller but it doesn't pro solve the problem of going back and forth between two types of controllers. So if you're the type of person that you just have the X1, well, you can easily purchase this product and use that amazing 360 controller and have no problems whatsoever. Um, but because it's not available for both, I decided, okay, well, I'm just going to use the PlayStation 4 controller. I like it a lot. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I love the feel of it. I love the way that it plays, uh, the sensitivity of everything. It's it's a great controller. Unfortunately, for me, and this doesn't happen with everyone, but the analog stick um, on both sides, they'll the rubber will tear off. It'll rip off. It'll just rip in general. So you have to buy a warranty for it. Now here in Canada, at least, I pay eight bucks, and then it's under warranty. So if I pay eight bucks, it's under warranty. If it breaks or tears or whatever the case is, then I can just return it and get a new one. But at that time, I then have to spend another $8, which is now a total of $16 for two controllers. But there's a little bit of an upside to that. It's not buying a $60 to $70 controller every single time. So it's not that bad. It's 8 bucks every whatever. Um, so, and... I don't know, not everyone is going to ruin those analog sticks like I do because everyone's not as aggressive on the system as I am. So the other issue is that uh, it's basically a wired controller. Now for me, as you can see right here, as we check out Mario, what's up buddy? Um, we have an extension cord for USB. Um, my room and setup and everything for my three TVs, my computer my Xbox and PlayStation 4 and everything I've got like so I've got all these extra like extension cables and stuff so that was good for me but if you guys want to buy one it's about 20 bucks the way that you can kind of lay it around and everything really makes it feel like it's not wired like it comes from the back of the system around the front and then just kind of the way it sits on the floor and to the side like it really and I'm very picky trust me I hate wires around me when I was on the 360 using the Turtle Beach X12 I was so annoyed at those wires like it just drove me through the roof so I'm telling you from experience that with an extension cord, it really doesn't feel like it's even wired at all. Um, so that is a bit of an issue as you can see right here. Let's take a look at the product. You can see it in the back. We are plugged in with the extension cord uh, into the product. As you can see, it goes AU, AU, AU all over. Uh, and basically that means it's, it's not set up and ready to go. And we'll get into that for a second. So the first issue is the fact that it does turn into a wired controller. The other issue caught me off guard and it was kind of funny when it happened because went to get into a party with my dude Chris and we got in the party. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. I was like, oh, oh, what am I going to do like with a headset? Because I'm not using the Xbox uh, One controller. How do I plug the mic in? 
So I'm like, okay, please, let's see. Let's make sure. I actually like the uh, PlayStation 4 headset better anyway, so I'm like, let me plug that in and see if it works. No dice. So the other downside is you will have to use your Kinect in order to be able to chat. Now, to me, it wasn't that big a deal. I play with no sound on Madden for the most part anyway, so I just turned on the sound. I was talking to him, no problem. I'm very close to my Kinect when I play, so I don't think he had any issues with the way I sounded, um, and I had no issues with the way he sounded. And kind of an upside to that was that, you know, before, when I'd play on 360 and stuff like that, you know, my girlfriend would be in the room, and I'd say something crazy, and she was always wondering, like, oh, what did he say, or what's going on, who's saying what? Well, now it's coming through the TV so she can hear and kind of just go along with the conversation while she's on her computer or doing work or whatever and not be completely in the dark. So that was kind of cool. Um, kind of forced me to, to do that so she can kind of join in. But um, a lot of people, that might be an issue. Now, I know that there's a way with different profiles and stuff that there's a way that you could do it if you get into a party Maybe you create a second gamer tag that your best friends know about. So the guys that you play with the most, you get into a party with them on a second gamer tag with the Xbox One controller and you can chat and use the product that we bought here uh, at, with the PlayStation 4 or Xbox 360 controller or whatever and be able to chat or be able to play with that and chat with the other secondary controller that's just hanging around over here. Um, so, you know, Bit of an issue, I'm not going to lie, when I first kind of came across that, I was like, oh man, this kind of sucks. But also at the same time, now when I play my games and I play somebody online or whatever, because I'm using the Kinect, because the fact that I don't have um, the game volume on, whoever I'm playing is now going to go and people on stream can hear that person clearly or however many people I'm talking to. They can hear them very clear um, in the videos that I make, so that is a little bit of an upside. Um, the other downside is that, you know, you would think that because you're using your PlayStation 4 controllers, you can completely get rid of all your Xbox One controllers. It's actually not the case. You do need to have a, basically a startup Xbox One controller, because what you need to do is every time I turn, like I literally just turned on the Xbox One right here. The only thing I did was sign in. Now, if I wanted to use the Xbox One controller right now, um, if it was plugged in, like it would work and everything, but if I started up with the PlayStation 4 controller, as you can see, with the light, it is plugged in. So if I go here and I try to use it, it doesn't work. So um, let me just kind of do this real quick. As you can see, so there's a difference. Everyone knows that the Xbox One kind of uh, USB that goes in looks like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. I'll just put this down for a second. So I will unplug the PlayStation 4 one, and as you knew, it was going back and forth between AU, AU, AU all the time, right? Well, now, when you plug in the Xbox One, it, it normalizes the system, so it'll then turn into a zero. So as soon as you get that zero, okay, I'll put you back down again, you can now unplug the Xbox One controller, plug in the PlayStation 4 controller, and now, as you can see, we are plugged back in because the light is on and we're going to be able to use it no problem. Now, there's absolutely no lag to it whatsoever. I promise you that. You use the PlayStation button down in the middle of both analogs, just like you would use the Xbox button. So let's say if we go... Where are we right now? I can't even see them on... There we go. So we go into Friends, and then we use the PlayStation button. We just tap it, and it goes right to the home screen. So there is no lag at all. It works perfect. Uh, I've had zero problems with it whatsoever. Uh, as you can see here, we have the Xbox One controller turned on, and now we have this one turned on. The reason why this one's turned on is because there's a battery pack in it, and I used, I was able to like kind of just go and plug that in to normalize the system. So now what we need to do is we need to turn off the Xbox One controller. So what I would do there is I would just kind of flip it over, and I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of dark. And so I just took off the thing, like I just leave this under. As you can see right here, I kind of got like a little bit of space there. So I just go like this, you know, put the Xbox One controller under there, and I leave the back of the battery pack off. So anytime I plug in the Xbox One to normalize the system, I just, just kind of flick the battery out, and then it's going to turn off the Xbox One controller underneath, and we're all good to go on the PlayStation 4 and whatever. So, uh, you know, it's a bit of an issue. It's a bit of an, you know, an annoyance. 
because who wants to have to just have to, you know, keep plugging something in and out every time they go to play. But for me, it is worth it. Now, everyone's different, so that's really going to depend, but I do find that it's not a problem whatsoever for me. Um, for the most part, I do leave my Xbox One on, I guess you could say. So when I do that, I could just leave this plugged in like this all the time and be ready to go all the time to play. But, of course, the Xbox One's a little bit glitchy, so sometimes you have to turn it off, which means that you have to go through that thing all over again. So, uh, you know, Route Combo, you asked me a question, asked me for a link, so I am going to put it in the description so you guys can check it out. I love the product. I think it's great. Um, now I can finally, like, i got to tell you, man, when I started playing Madden on the Xbox One with my friends and was able to use the PlayStation 4 controller and just kind of feel like, ah, you know, that... I just hate the Xbox. Like, everyone's different, right? You might love the Xbox One controller. You might hate the PlayStation 4 controller. But the great thing is, is whatever control you prefer, that's the one you can use across both systems. Blah, 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 blah. You're all good to go. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Madden 15's coming out real soon, so I want to make sure you guys are all set up and ready to go. Give you time to order it if it's something that you wanted to order. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, don't forget to check out Mello. He's been posting some videos for us uh, on the YouTube channel while I've kind of been uh, taking a break and stuff like that. But I've got something important to tell you guys coming up here real soon, uh, so I'm going to be doing a video on that, so you're going to want to look out for that. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.